Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over the questions of the AMCA 2000 test, so let's get into it. Problem number one. Aunt Anna is 42 years old, so we'll just write 4A is equal to 42. Caitlin is 5 years younger than Brianna, so Caitlin C. 5 years younger than Brianna, so B minus 5. And then Brianna is half as old as Aunt Anna, and we know Aunt Anna is 42 years old, so we can put 42 over here. And then we can simplify this and get 21. And then you can substitute this for B, and we have 21 minus 5, which is 16. And their answer is 16, B. Let's move on to the next question. Problem 2. Which of these numbers is less than its reciprocal? So we'll start with A. This has minus 2, and its reciprocal, which is minus 2 over 1. Switching the numerator and denominator, we just hit minus 1 half. And since minus 2 is less than minus a half, our answer is just A. We don't need to check the rest because we know that A is the right answer. Problem 3. How many whole numbers lie in the interval between 5 thirds and 2 pi? So let's create a number line over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 5 thirds is roughly equal to 1.66, repeating. And 2 pi is roughly equal to 6.3. So 6.3 can be marked over here, and 1.66 can be marked over here. So the whole numbers between this would be 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, which is 5 in total. So our answer is 5D. Let's move on to the next question. Problem 4. In 1960, only 5% of the working adults in Carlin City worked at home. By 1970, the at-home workforce increased to 8%. In 1980, there were approximately 15% working at home. And in 1990, there were 30%. The graph that best illustrates this is... So we know this is not A. As in 1960, it's 10%. It's, it could be B, because in 1960, it's 5%. But in the 1970, it's 10% instead of 8%, so this is wrong. Answer choice C also has 5 for 1960 and 8 for 1970, but for 1980, it has 25, which is wrong. And answer choice D has 5% for 1960, but 10% for 1970, so this is wrong. Our only remaining answer choice is E, so this is the right answer. Let's move on to the next question. Problem 5. Each principal of Lincoln High School serves exactly one three-year term. What is the maximum number of principals this school could have during an eight-year period? So we can create another number line over here. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So that's each year, or is it represented here? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the different possibilities of terms could be, they first start off with a three-year term, they have another, there's another three-year term, and then one two-year term that's extended. Another one is, it starts with a two-year term, there's three-year term, and then three-year term. And last, there's one one-year term, and then one three-year term, one three-year term, and then lastly one one-year term. Obviously the first two only lead to three years, but the last choice is correct as this leads to four years, which is the greatest. So our answer is C, 4 terms. Let's move on to the next question. Problem 6. Figure A, B, C, D is a square. Inside the square, three smaller squares, which are these. This one, this one over here, and this one over here. Inside the square, three smaller squares are drawn with the side lengths as labeled. The area of the shaded L-shaped region is... So this L-shaped region over here can be broken down into three parts, like this. And this part over here is congruent to this part over here. And these parts, I'll redraw them here, are three by ones, as you can see over here, three and a one, three by ones. And find the area, we just do three times one, 
And since there are two of these, we multiply this by two again, and we get six. So the shade region is six. Next, we have this small square over here, which is congruent to this square over here. And this is a one by one. So one times one is one. And see, since we want to find the total area of the shaded region, we do six plus one, which is equal to seven. So our answer is A, seven. Let's move on to the next question. Problem seven. What is a minimum, what is a minimum possible product of three different numbers of the set? Negative eight, negative six, negative four, zero, three, five, and seven. So there are two different possibilities here. There's first, you can multiply the three negative numbers to get a positive one negative number, one very less negative number. So that being negative eight times negative six times negative four. Another option would be to multiply the two of the greatest positive numbers and one negative number, which would be negative eight times five times seven. So, since we want to find the least of these, we need to find out of these and out of this, which one is the greatest. So, obviously, this equals to 24, and this equals to 35. So, this is the greatest, and this gets crossed out. So, we're asked to find the least possible product, not only which one is greater. So, we do 35 times 8, negative 8 and we get negative 280 so that's our answer b negative 280 let's move on to the next question problem 8 three dice with faces numbered 1 through 6 are stacked as shown seven of the 18 faces are visible leaving 11 faces hidden back bottom between the total number of dots not visible in this view is so we can see that there is one dot view here 2, 3, 4, 6, and 5, and then 1 here. So we do 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, which equals 6 and 4, 10, 5, 3 and 2, another 10, plus 1, 21, plus this one over here, and that's 22. Oops, let me just erase this over here. Put this over here, 22. And next, we want to find the total number of dots that each cube has, which is just 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. And since there are 3 cubes, we multiply this by 3. And since we already found this was 21, we've put this over here. And then we have 21 times 3, which is 63. And now we want to find the dots that are hidden. So we do 20, 63 minus 22, which is just 41. So that's our answer, 41D. So let's move on to the next question, problem nine. Three digit powers of two and five are used in this cross number puzzle. What is the only possible digit for the outline square? So this over here has to be a power of two, and this over here has to be a power of five. So first we need to find the power of two, sorry, first we have to find the power of five, and then only we can find the power of two. And mainly we have to find this box over here. So first let's find all the three digit um, powers that five has. So the three digit numbers that five has, so five N, can be one, two twenty five, not 125 or 625. And we can notice that the middle number in both of these is the same, 2. So either answer will, will lead to the same thing. So let's put 2 over here, 2. And now let's find this now. Now we need to find the power of 2, the 2 that leads to a 3 digit number with 2 as its 100th digit. So we have 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and last but not least, 256. So we have 256, so we can put this over here, 256, and our answer is 6, D6. Let's move on to the next question.
column 10, Era and Shia were once the same height. Since then, Shia has grown 20%, while Era has grown half as many inches as Shia. Shia is now 60 inches tall. How many? How tall in inches is Era now? So, the when they were once the same height, we can define this as X, and then Era is A, and then Shia is S. So, Shia... Let me just erase this for now. Shia has grown 20%, so that would be 1.2 times the original height, which we defined as x. While Era has grown only half as many inches, so basically half as much. So Era we can define as 1.1x, because 1 is like a half of 2. And now they say Shia has grown 60, is now 60 inches tall. So we know that S over here is 60. So we can do 60 divided by 1.2, which is 50. So the original height was 50. And we can substitute this over here. And we have 1.1 times 50, which is 55 inches. So that's the answer. Air is now 55 inches tall. Let's move on to the next question. Problem 11, the number 64 has a property that is divisible by its units digit. How many whole numbers between 10 and 50 have this property? So an easy way to do this is just to list all the whole numbers between 10 and 50. This might seem tedious, but it's actually pretty fast. Let me just go over it real quick. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then now we can write 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 28, now 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. And then last but not least, the 40s. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So obviously now we can start crossing out the numbers. And it says between 10 and 50. And if you want, you can check for 52. 50 does not work because 50 is not divisible by 0. And none of these numbers can be divisible by 0. So we can just immediately cross out 10, 20, 30, and 40. So once we do that, we can start finding the numbers that do match. And again, we can just cross out 19, 29, 39, and 49. As if it has 9 in its unit digit, it must also have 9 in its tenth digit to be divisible by 9. Because the sum of the numbers in its digits must add up to must be divisible by nine. That's its property, divisibility property. Like if I have two, three, nine, these digits have to add up to a multiple of nine or zero to be divisible by nine. Like for example, two plus three plus nine is fourteen, which is not divisible by nine. So two three nine is also not divisible by nine. While, on the other hand, if we have something like 4, 5, 9, this is divisible by 9 because when you add all these digits, you get 18, and 18 is divisible by 9. Let's move on. And then 18 row, 18 is not divisible by 8. 28 is also not divisible by 8. 40, 30 is also not divisible. 40 is divisible. No 17, no 27, no 37, no 47, I believe, no 47. And then no 16, no 26, 36, no 46, and then all of the 5s, because if it has 5 in the units digit, then of course it's divisible by 5. And then 4 works here, not here, not here, 44 here, not here. Here, not here, not here, 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 here. And also, if there's two in the unit digit, then it's also divisible by two. And 
all of the ones it should all of the ones because everything's divisible by one. So that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen numbers. So our answer is C seventeen. Let's move on to the next question. Problem twelve. A block wall a hundred feet long and seven foot high will be constructed using blocks that are one foot high and either two feet long or one foot long. No blocks may be cut. The vertical joints in the blocks must be staggered as shown, and the wall must be even at the ends. What is the smallest number of blocks needed to build this? So this is a pretty simple question. As we can imagine, any length over here, this can be about any length, with even number of blocks, with like no half blocks, because 100 feet is divisible by 2 evenly into 50. So then if we redraw this, the next steps, the next three, we have them staggered. So one, one foot block, and then two foot, two foot, two foot, and then one, one foot. And then same thing, since you want to stagger it, one, two foot, two foot, two foot. And then we just repeat this process. So basically, the one foots alternate every each one. And since we're starting with a whole block, there's going to be four whole blocks and three half blocks. And we already found out that half blocks, sorry, whole blocks require 50 blocks in total per row. So we do four times 50 equals 200. And the three half blocks will require one more than the full blocks because the one, one of them one, let me just write this in red. One full block is being cut into two smaller half blocks. So that's 50 minus 1. That's 49. And then it's being replaced with two extra blocks. So that's 49 plus 2, which is 51. And since there are only three rows of that, we'll do 51 times 3, which is 153. And when we add 200 plus 153, you get 353, and that's our answer. D, 353. Let's move on to the next question. Problem 13 says, In triangle CAT, we have angle ACT equal to angle ATC, and angle CAT is 36 degrees. If TR bisects ATC, then angle CRT is how many degrees? So let me just redraw this over here bigger so we can understand this problem. And this is A, this is R, this is T, and this is C. So we know that these two are congruent. We know that this angle over here is 36 degrees. And we also know that these two angles, oops, these two angles are bisected. And we are asked to find this angle over here. This is the question mark. So we, an easy way to do this is knowing that the interior angles of a triangle all add up to 180 degrees. We can easily find this. So we have to first do 180 minus 36 which is 144 degrees. So the sum of these two angles, ACT and ATC, add up to 144. And since they both are the same, we can just divide this by two and get 72 degrees. So C is 72 degrees, and T is also 72 degrees. And to find these oranges, we can just divide 72 again by two, and we get 36 degrees. And we can just write 36 over here. Let's replace this. And then now we're asked to find this remaining side over here, angle CRT. But we notice that this 36, we can correspond to this over here. And then this 72 over here. So then angle R would correspond to this angle, which would also be 72 degrees. So knowing this, we can find that R is also 72 degrees. If you do this mathematically, 
we would again do 180 minus 36 minus 72, which is 180 minus 108, which is just 72 degrees. So R is 72 degrees, C. Let's move on to the next question. Problem 14. What is the unit's digit of 9 to the power of 19 plus 19 to the power of 99? So let's rewrite this over here. 19 to the power of 19 plus 99 to the power of 99. So since we only want to know the unit's digit, we can cross out 1 and 9 over here. And we have 9 to the power of 19 plus 9 to the power of 99. And then we can notice a pattern in the powers of 9. 9 to the power of 1, 9 to the power of 2, 9 to the power of 3. 9 times 1 is just 9. And then if we multiply that by 9 again, we get 81. So that's 1 over here, multiplied by 9, and the units is just, again, 9. So we have this repeating pattern of 9, and then 1, and then 9, and then it just goes on and on. So for, to easily find this, we can just take the power and divide this by 2, and whatever remainder comes, we can find the answer. So let's divide 19 by 2, and we're left with the remainder of 1, not divide, mod, mod below. And then we're finding a remainder of 1. And since it's a remainder of 1, it's the first number in the series, which is 9. So this corresponds with this. And again, 99 leads to the same result. 1, a remainder of 1. 9. So then this can be simplified over here to 9 plus 9, which is 18. And again, we only want the unit digit, so that's 8, not 1. And if you don't understand modulo over here, Modul modulus is basically just finding the remainder of this number. So when 99 is divided by 2, then what is the remainder? And that is the answer that goes over here. Um, yeah. So the answer is D8. Let's move on to the last question for this video. Problem 7, problem 15. Triangles A, B, C, A, D, E, and E of G are all equilateral. Points D and J are midpoints of A, C, and A, E, respectively. If A, B equals to 4, what is the perimeter of the figure A, B, C, D, E, F, G? So we're given that A, B over here is equal to 4. And since, you, since we know that these are all equilateral triangles, we know that B, C is also 4. And C, A over here, let me just write, over here, is also 4. So since we know that point D is a midpoint of C, A, we can find out that C, D is 2, which is a half of 4. And then D, A is also 2. And again, D, A is a, is a side of triangle D, A, E. So all the sides of ang si triangle D, A, E will sum to 2. So D, E is 2, and A, E is also 2. And E, G is again half of 2, which is 1. So the sides of E, G, F are going to be 1. So E, F is 1, G, F is 1, and then A, G is also going to be 1. So these three ones can equal three. These two twos can equal four. Four. And these two fours can equal eight. So eight plus four plus three is equal to 15. So the answer is C, 15. Well, that wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. And stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.